What was that? No way. It'll claw you, it'll run away from you, it'll <laughs> kiss at you. Oh my god. There we go. <gasps> no way. No way. No way. Please don't come off. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is the first time the truck's been in four-wheel drive in the 2023 season of ice fishing. And I'm a little lost. We're gonna sit and park for a second. So you're probably asking yourself, Becca, what are you doing? Well, I woke up at 3 a.m. and drove all the way up to Maine because apparently there's some ice here finally. It has been the absolute worst season I can possibly remember. I mean, it is a very bad winter, but the goal is to finally ice camp. And it's sad to say that this is going to be my first opportunity to ice camp and it's already January. Kind of scary, not going to lie, but it's fine. We're gonna make it happen. I have a lot of new gear that I wanna test out. There's so much going on. I've been buying stuff here and there to get ready for this ice fishing season. And there just hasn't been an opportunity except for today. So fingers crossed everything goes well. I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Hunter as well as my buddy Isaac today. So I'm really excited to see them and hopefully get on some fish. But that would just be the cherry on top, truthfully, because I just wanna get out on ice. I've ice fished once this year and that was legitimately my only opportunity to get on safe ice. And it really wasn't even that safe to be honest with you, but it was safe enough. So apparently this place has a decent chunk of ice that we should be fine and I should be safe to ice camp on. We're gonna see how that goes, but I'm gonna wait for my buddies to get here so I don't hit another snow bank because I have no idea where I am. I was gonna back up into this little uh, plowed out section. We're not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna sit in the middle of the road in the middle of nowhere, Maine. I have no connection, no cell service. So hopefully they find me, fingers crossed. Come along with me, let's have some fun. This is going to be a journey, but I'm excited. Welcome to today's adventure of Will We Ice Camp. Hopefully, that's the goal. Only if the ice cooperates. We're just on we're just parking on the snowbank. Yeah. All right, all right. No! I think you were off the road enough where you were. Nah. -uh. Am I stuck? I mean, I would just back into that little turnaround right there. Yeah, dude, maybe. If I could get there. Run up just a hair. Okay, now back up. Do it again. Run up. Oh, we're almost out. What was that? that um. I mean, it's not flat, but that's, uh, it's definitely not great. Hopefully the fish are biting. <laughs> Fit there you go. Probably lose my drag a bit. Oh, are you kidding? It's a slime dart. Oh, yeah. oh right in the eye. Bye. Getting everything set up is a battle of itself. I'm so tired. Are you guys catching anything? You just got a pickle. 
I just woke up. What? I just woke up. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know if you've ever seen one, but this is what a fish looks like. What? I know, dude. Oh, congrats, dude. I'll get there one day. I have full faith in you. Thank you. Thank you for showing me what's possible. You go to pet a cat. It'll it'll claw you, it'll run away from you, it'll kiss at you. But whenever you're sitting on the couch doing nothing, then they then they come up to you and start showing you love. It's like uh, the dating world right now. Yeah. Yeah. You would know that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Have a good night. You too. Bye, guys. And then there's just you and me left here. The boys just left. So commence officially solo ice camping. Pretty excited. First one of the year, but it's one of my favorite things in the entire world to do. There's something about ice camping that's therapeutic almost and you would think the opposite because we're on a frozen lake in the middle of nowhere pitch black but it's a weirdly comforting experience what would make this better is if we definitely caught some fish we caught a decent chunk of fish off camera today but um nothing crazy and the bite definitely wasn't that hot we marked way more fish than we caught so we have a lot of catching up to do hopefully we end up catching some tonight i'm gonna sue I'm gonna set a trap in here with live bait, you know, while we're cooking or when I go to bed, whatever, just so we always have a line in the water to up our chances, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm excited either way because this is like my favorite thing in the entire world, so Whew, let's do it. I'm gonna drop some layers though because it is definitely getting hot in here. Oh, come on. The second I reel up and now there's a mark down there. Pretty good mark too. God, these fish are terrible today. No! We have some live bait right now. Just kind of sitting there, hopefully going to catch something. And while that's doing that, it's about 7 o'clock, and it's a little bit late for dinner time for me, but I wasn't really hungry until now, so. Last time I made this, we were ice fishing, which is kind of crazy to think about. Or maybe it was not. I think I went ice fishing and then truck camping, and I made this. This is my third time making this on the channel, but it's been over a year since I made this. And I remember it being really good. You just have to cook it slow because it burns so easily. But it's incredibly easy to make, and I know it says vegan on it. Does it? Yeah, it says vegan on it. I'm not vegan. I just have a dairy allergy. I, I have to say that nearly every episode now, because if I do cook something, like, I put vegan cheese on something, I get um, a lot of comments saying <laughs> some stuff. I'm not vegan, just a dairy allergy. Um, so, vegan means dairy-free, if you didn't know. It kind of looks like an MRE, but a vegan MRE. Let's see if this was a, a bad idea or not, because this is kind of our only option. I remember liking it, so. I put some of my own, like, cheese thingy on top, too, so. You can't go wrong. You really can't. Um, unless you're a normal person, then just get Kraft mac and cheese. But if you can't have dairy like me, it's really not bad. Um, is, is it the best vegan mac and cheese I've ever had? No, but you don't have to boil a water, which is super nice because you want to be very minimalist when you're ice camping. And I only brought this one, um, pot or pan with me. I didn't have enough room for a pot and pan. So yeah. And I used this earlier to make lunch with the boys. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 
my cheese sauce that I put on it, like the Parmesan vegan stuff, makes it 10 times better also. I could have sworn I just heard someone outside, but I was getting ready to fight someone. It's weird, though, because the ice is just constantly making sounds. So, like, you can't tell the difference between the ice making noise or someone's right outside. I mean, you can tell the difference, but not when it's as subtle as that just was. That was weird. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Okay. Okay, that definitely makes sense of why they've been so picky. Okay. Do you see the size of this gill? Ah! Not my bed. Be respectful in this house. Yeah, that's a giant gill. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> We're gonna let him go. Finally caught a fish, but now I'm not tired at all. So let's try to catch some more. But wow, if that's the bait that these fish in this lake is eating. <sighs> Buddy just had a hard time finding the hole. I think I figured them out. Oh yeah, really? You caught one in five hours? Got them figured out, bud. I could have sworn that those big marks were crappie. And that would have made sense. Oh, I'm watching the f that fish that I caught. I'm watching on the graph him make his way back down. That's so funny. All right, let's see if we can catch a crappie, though. It's funny because the main reason why I came here was to catch crappie. And I think the boys and I caught every single species today except for crappie. We caught a perch today. We caught a brown trout. We got a pickerel, bluegill, I mean everything except for crappie were caught today. And apparently they haven't stocked this place. Oh no, we caught a brown trout. Did I just say brook trout? Apparently they haven't stocked this place with trout in like five plus years. So <laughs> that trout's been in there for a while. These are some of the pickiest fish I've ever gone after on the ice. But I'll take it. I love the challenge. At least I know what they are. I guarantee you there's monster crappie mixed in with the bluegill, though. Huh. We have a flag up. There we go. Doesn't feel huge, but... Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. That's the biggest crappie of my life. That's it. We should... We should... Marks couldn't all be bluegill. Jeez! Wow, oh, that very well might be the biggest crappie in my life. Ooh! 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 This is a 12 inch hole for perspective, so this is like a 15 inch crappie. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Bye, bud! I don't know why I just said jeez Louise, that was weird. Ooh. The ice shack's looking nice. 
we're fishing in our sleep we got the tip up same exact setup we just caught that crappie on so pretty hopeful we'll catch something throughout the night there's been so many times where i've caught in fish while sleeping with a tip up it's crazy you can just sleep and fish at the same time which is really cool but it's like 11 o'clock right now um i've been up since 3 30 a.m driving all the way up here so I mean, you could definitely imagine how tired I am. Very, very tired right now. <laughs> so I'm going to hit the hay. I'm going to set an alarm for an hour before sunrise because that is the best time for crappie fishing. So I'm going to try to be up early. No promises, but no, no, no. We're going to do it. We're, we're, we're going to wake up early. That's the goal. We're going to beat the sunrise and uh, try to catch some crappie right before the sun comes up. So hit the hay i'm so so tired right now um but i'll see you guys in the morning if not then i'll see you guys whenever this flag goes off because i will bring you guys along with me if we catch a fish in the middle of the night because that thing will wake me up so all right i'm hitting the hay good night i haven't even fell asleep yet and the flag's up oh is he gonna run are you gonna take my bait and run you go. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, not as big as the other one, but God, he choked it too. Where's my pliers? Well, that's a good way to wake up, I'd say. Well, actually, not wake up. I didn't even officially fall asleep yet. Oh, God back down there okay good night take two <laughs> we already have a fish on us oh bit left well good morning <laughs> i'm so tired but whoo I slept really good. I woke up cold, obviously. <laughs> um, it's if you're gonna do ice camping, I recommend getting like um a camping pad that you can blow up because your back gets really, really, really cold. Um, and I forgot mine. So it's it's brutal to ice camp without that it makes a world of a difference because your back is going to get so cold. But besides that, I slept good. I woke up. I like three fell back asleep pretty quick. Yeah. Can't complain. Got him. I got him. Yeah, these bluegill are so freaking big in here, dude. It is not every day that you catch bluegill this size. What the heck? Good morning. It's funny. I drove all the way here to catch crappie. Um, that was the target species, but I'm so okay with those bluegill. <laughs> That is so cool. No way. No way. What is this? Oh, let's go. <gasps> new species. Well, not new species for this trip, but new species inside of the ice shack. It's a perch. I'm holding him upside down because he has his defense mechanism up. They have really sharp, um, little spines. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, there we go. They have these guys right here, and they hurt bad. So, yeah. Wow, what a morning. 
I'll take that all day. I have no cell service, so I haven't been able to go on my phone at all. And all I want to know is who won the football game last night. Who won the football game? <laughs> I wanted to watch it so bad, but it was either go ice camping or watch a football game. And let's be real, this is way cooler, so. There we go. That feels big. Feels big. <gasps> no way. No way. No way. Please don't come off. You're fairly hooked. stuck my hand in the hole like all the way down barely like skin hooked no joke I can't even get the hook out my hand is so cold from going into the, the ice hole to grab him that is the biggest largemouth that I've jigged up in quite some time like I've caught some big ones on the flag recently, but jigging up a large mouth of this size is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Good freaking morning. Where were you guys last night? Oh yeah, I was marking you, but you weren't eating. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, okay. I mean, I was gonna like revive you, but that's fine. That's cool, dude. Bye. Definitely worth waking up at 3.30 and driving here. Natural light. Wow. Gilly, gilly, guiltster. Bye. A lot of equipment. <laughs> it is freezing cold out this morning, and I am still hot. That was a lot of work, man. I mean, ice camping is so much fun, uh, especially solo. I think everyone should do it and challenge themselves, but I'm telling you, don't do it solo every single time because there's times like that where the ice melted and then froze to the side of the shack and trying to put it in the bag by yourself and then lugging it all that way. I mean, we were pretty far out there is what I'm trying to get at, so. It's always fun to do it solo though, do not get me wrong, but if you can find a buddy to do it with, I recommend that, uh, at least here and there, because I am definitely going to be in pain tomorrow. <laughs> I still have no cell service, so I don't know how to get out, and my truck started, even though it was acting extremely weird, it's, it started, so that's cool, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode, I had so much fun. It's just something about getting out there. Like, I've never been to this body of water in my entire life, uh, open water or frozen, and you know, I did it, and I'm so proud of myself. It was so much fun. Um, shout out to Hunter and my buddy Isaac. They're both incredible people, but I'll definitely be back to this lake. I like it. I mean, the crappie, are you kidding me? They're massive. <laughs> but that's all I got for you guys. I'm gonna keep on rambling because I'm out of breath, and I'm just gonna keep spiraling and talking so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode especially as much as i did that was a freaking blast but i'm gonna end today's video here more adventures coming quite soon 
hopefully ice fishing too. Um, hopefully the ice stays around, but I love you guys and I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.